How you doing, everyone? My name is Jeremy Bracken. I go by the artist name Jeremy Ryan. And I'm here to give a deep, detailed explanation of how I got started in this music world of mine. Started in 2018, me and Culture School decided that we were going to professionally sell our music. The first album, Movies. It definitely started everything else for me. I would say at 1904, that was the first time I ever performed with a live band. <laughs> it, was, it was quite terrible though, but the fact we had over 100 people in the building was really sufficient and, and fulfilling for me to keep trying and, and to do better. That led to May of 2019, we decided to start throwing shows. That's when Waves was created. Being an artist, in Jacksonville specifically, it's not really common to find artists that are looking out for you. So I felt obliged to my community to make sure that people can feel how I feel if they were able to be on stage and, and to be loved and respected. So with Waves, I wanted to ensure that each artist had that opportunity, as well as me to have that ability to practice and hone my craft. 2020 happened and COVID hit the world and changed absolutely everything. But in that moment, I found myself more in the solitude, um, which <laughs> allowed me to be even more creative than I've ever been. And that's how I was able to create the video talking. And talking changed everything for me. In March 2021, when me and Miles Dante dropped that video, it went viral over the weekend um, with over 200,000 views in, in like four days, <laughs> which again, not only changed my musical career, but just how I approached everything going forward, knowing that I had that type of reach. Um, and with that opportunity, I was able to throw shows during COVID and after COVID called Jeremy Ryan and Friends. I threw back-to-back -back shows in April. I threw a Jeremy Ryan and Friends show in June. In between that time, I started to get recognition for our shows. And amazing artists like Ebony Payne English uh, provided opportunities and, and paid me to perform. I was able to perform at the Performance Academy in July before I finally threw my last Jeremy Ryan and Friends show. In August 2021, I had the amazing opportunity to perform at the LOL Jacks Film Festival. It was the fifth year they had ever done it, and it was at Mosh on their rooftop. I had never, ever, ever performed outside of my own venues so to be able to perform on a rooftop at Mosh, which I believe was their last year of being at that location, was, was one of the highlights of my life. After the Mosh show, me and my team decided we needed to reevaluate. So we had took a break as we worked on our next video, which at that time was Superpowers. Superpowers was shot in October and we knew immediately when we filmed it, it was, it was special. But we had no idea how we would really take advantage of the situation until David Liu from Jacksonville had his own film event for a film he created titled Conclave. It was at Sunray. He had other short films. It was popcorn and pizza. I just remember sitting in the crowd being awed by all the films, all of the trailers that were being shown. Let Me Be Corey was actually being shown as well. So seeing my face for the first time on, the, on a movie screen that I, I didn't have to do myself again was I'm setting personal records for myself. I, since I was five years old, I've always wanted to be on the movie. So to, to see that and to see the fans and the people there show so much love and respect. They bought posters, they went to the after party, which was at a bar across the street. I, I, I 
just realizing that was possible, I, I could not resist. And I knew immediately that that's what we were going to do for Superpowers. We were going to the theaters with it. January 2022, we premiered Superpowers, which was directed by Jason Blankenship. The director of photography was Justin Mann. That experience was insane. I'll never forget that shoot. After premiering the Superpowers video at Sunray, me and Quinn knew that we wanted to do and go even bigger and better for Roller Coaster Part 2. We reached out to Adam Madrid. I remember linking up with him at Ale House and pitching out this idea. We were able to get Jaron Wallace to sign on board to be the director of photography. Certain videos can change your life, and I would argue Superpowers and Roller Coasters did just that, as they solidified for me that film is something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So in October 2022, we did our first out-of-town gig in Palm Coast for the Flowway Festival. This was the fourth one, and I finally got to check off another personal goal of mine, which is to perform in another city outside of Jacksonville. Performing outside is, is always iffy. It's kind of like getting married outside. You have to worry about the weather or are people gonna show up because you're not known in that area. But all those things are just, just doubts and nerves because being in Palm Coast was, was epic and anything that you would ever want performing outside of your city. After that show, to literally get a phone call from, from the Jaguars and PRI Productions to have the opportunity to perform for the Jaguars, literally a dream come true. And not only were the Jags on a winning streak, but it was a sold out game. Just God is good. <laughs> God is good. I, I always think I'm I'm trying to chase my dreams, but anything I've learned through this last five years is that I'm I'm living my dreams. Every everything going forward is is a cherry on top of this amazing Sunday that is already presented in front of me. Um, I don't need to be rich and famous. Um, I don't really need anything outside of my family and friends just loving and supporting what I want to do with my time on earth. <laughs> As some artists know, not, not everyone gets the pleasure to do that so effortlessly and freely. So to be able to be in my spot, to be able to continuously grow and evolve... I'm forever blessed that the journey's just getting started.